everyone, today we're making water poached fish or shui zhu yu. This famous Sichuan dish consists of tender pieces of fish fillet along with a variety of vegetables in a flavorful mala soup base. It's pretty easy and quick to make at home, so let me show you how. Most traditional recipes call for a whole fish because the fresh fish fillets are more delicate and the bones give a ton of umami flavor to the soup base. But you can definitely make the same dish with defrosted fish fillets. This method is way easier and gets the dish to the table in half the time. The key is to cut the fish on bias so you have wide pieces of fillet. Then, marinate and tenderize it using the same technique we use for our gongbao chicken recipe. By marinating the fish pieces in salt, white pepper, Chinese rice wine, and egg white, and then massaging it all in, and then adding cornstarch to lock in the moisture. Next, let's prepare the vegetables. Basically, whatever vegetable you prefer will be fine. Here, I'm using enoki mushrooms, celery, tofu skins, and saltus, a very common Chinese vegetable similar to lettuce. For the soup base, you'll need ginger, garlic, and green onion, dry citron peppercorns, cut dry chili peppers, bay leaves and fennel seeds, pi xian dou ban, or fermented broad bean chili paste, light soy sauce, rock sugar, and lots of chopped garlic. And completely optional, some spicy and nummy hot pot soup paste. To cook, heat up oil in a wok. Add in all your dry aromatics and stir fry everything over medium high heat for a couple of minutes to bring out the fragrance. Then add in the pisha and dough bun and stir fry. The amounts of these ingredients are really to taste. They are used to flavor the soup base. So if you like pungent flavors, then add more. If not, then add less. And then if using, add in the hot pot soup base. This is completely optional, but the mix of chilies and spices will add an extra oomph to your dish. Stir fry that for one or two minutes and then add in water, rock sugar, and soy sauce. Cover and bring your soup to a boil. Let it boil for five to 10 minutes on medium heat. At this time, the aromatics have infused into the soup, so remove them. Then add in all your veggies and cook to tender crisp. Also add some salt to taste. When your vegetables are cooked, take them out and put them in a large heat proof dish. Turn your heat to medium low and add in the fish pieces one by one. Let them cook gently in the soup. Mixing carefully only after the fillets have taken shape. This will take only a couple of minutes. Then place the fish pieces on top of the cooked veg and pour over all the soup. And here is what gives this dish its signature look and smell. Put dry chilies, chopped garlic, green part of the green onion on top of the fish and vegetables, and then pour hot oil all over. The fragrance is intoxicating. Cook this way, you've elevated frozen fish fillets to a whole other level. The spicy and numbing broth has infused everything with multiple layers of flavor. And now you can make this restaurant dish right at home. It's a must try if you like tender fish with a ton of delicious vegetables. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my blog at Yun's Family Table for the full written recipe. And I'll see you next time.